I'm gonna do a flyby on him. Or maybe more like a bump by. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue our push uh, to m uh, push the Xenon out of split space, or at least out of Family Zen. Uh, we finally have gotten them out of Wretched Skies 4, so every uh, Xenon station's been destroyed here. Um, I'm in a bit of a situation, though. Uh, I have two Ks, along with some fighters, coming through the gate. Um, and I don't have my, my fleet entirely with me. Um, I've got a lot of fighters currently uh, getting repaired. It looks like they're just about all repaired. And I sent my destroyers over to Litany of Fury... To destroy this platform uh, because the split started building one. It looks like they're coming through to, to start all over again. So uh, they had just started building it, so I sent the destroyers over to destroy it. I hopped over there and wiped out their storage too, so they got a bunch of storage just sitting there. Um, you know, just to kind of keep them from advancing from this side to too, too much. I don't really care about Litany of Fury. It's a, the system sucks. It's got 50% sunlight. Um, there's no resources there. It's really dark. Um, so Xenon can have it as far as I'm concerned. I just don't want them to come any further this way. So I'm, I'm, I just did that, you know, while I was waiting for these repairs. But uh, now we got those two Ks coming through. So I'm, I'm retreating. I'm in the Rattlesnake with some of my fighters. I'm retreating from the gate currently until the, my destroyers and the rest of my fighters can once again rendezvous with me. And then we'll... We'll go ahead and take those guys on. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpause uh, the game here. And I'm actually going to just let uh, Callie uh, pilot the ship for the moment. While we kind of watch and see what's going to happen here. I have never taken on two Ks at the same time. Well, actually I have with my, uh, with my defense tower, but not in the ships. So we're just going to kind of see how things play out here. Okay, so we got the destroyers back with us, so that's good. We just need to get all these fighters back and then we can go head to head with them. And they, they might not even give chase. They might just stay and try and guard that gate. But we're going to go after them once we get everybody here. Okay. So, um, let's cancel that order. And get the rattlesnake. Turned around here. And I want... Let's get the destroyers alongside us. Okay, so yeah, good. It looks like the Ks are staying put for the moment. In fact, did one of them go back to the gate? Ooh, nice. That works in our favor. Wait, did it? I don't see it. No, it's there. <laughs> They're like right on top of each other. Okay. So we're just waiting for all these fighters to get back to us. Um, they're all on their way back after getting repaired so hopefully those guys will stay put until everybody gets over here awaiting orders 
here. I want you guys to face this way. Um, the, the, uh, defense, the second defense platform in the solar power station that I destroyed went a little, these two right here went a little smoother, uh, than it was going in the last, uh, in the last episode that I did. Um, it's just, they just need a lot of babysitting and, and repositioning, but, you know, we managed to knock, kill both of those stations in around, I'd say about 20 minutes real life, which isn't too bad. Like I said, it'll get better once we get a bigger fleet. But right now it takes takes a hot minute to do it, but we gotta get it done, so is what it is. Okay, come on, fighters. Get over here and get in line so you I can just go send you out to get damaged again. <laughs> So it looks like they're all on their way back. Good. All right. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, I think I'm going to send half of the fleet after the first K and the second half after the second K. And we're just going to we're just going to go in and and nail them. Come on, fighters. Don't wait for Christmas. Get your butts over here. I guess I could set a... I'm just keeping an eye on things here. Oh. I guess I need to be in the driver's seat for that to work. Awaiting orders. Send in a PR way. Be the last thing he ever does. It'd be actually kind of nice if they'd send some of their fighters this way before the cage themselves come. I don't know if they're going to actually do that. Hey, Pretty stupid. That K or a P to fly into us, but that's the way it goes. Okay, let's see, make sure nothing else is planning on coming through on this side. Okay, yeah, I mean, if he's going to keep sending the smaller ships to us, let's let him do that first to try and thin them out a little bit. Awaiting orders. I'm fine with that. These actually could be other ships uh, just coming through the gate, though. Where the hell did he go? He just vanished. Oh, there he is. I guess he stopped in the in-between section there. Those guys are coming, planning on coming this way or not. Striking. P. Let's watch this guy get annihilated. Okay, so let's, um... Awaiting orders. 
Oh, did the other K actually go through now? He did. Nice. Okay, let's wait a little bit longer because it looks like he's heading away from the gate. Are you going back too? All right. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him before he goes through. I don't want them both to go through. So what I'm going to do is send you guys after him and attack all surface elements. And then the I want to send you guys after him. And then we will also go after him. Okay, let's do this. Oh, shoot. He went through the gate. Okay. Well, let's, let's go ahead and dip in and see if we can take him out. Before this one turns around. Okay, here we go. I lost my target on him. Oh yeah, he's almost down already. In fact, uh, let's... Put you guys back on intercept. Which should pull you away from the the uh, K. Okay, he's dead. All right, let's assess the situation here. So we just got a bunch of little fighters to deal with. Uh, that other K is probably. Somewhere here in uh, in between the satellites. So we're just going to hold position here and take care of the little guys, and then we'll see we'll see how things go. We've lost so far. I think we've lost one fighter. How are my destroyers doing? My medium turrets are all on attack fighters, so that's good. Waiting orders. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Awaiting orders. Okay, so we've established our forward position inside of Family Zen. I'm just going to sit here for a few moments and see if, and, and let them come to us. Um, and while we're doing that, let's send a couple of ships, the ones that are actually, they're in pretty good shape overall, aside from the ones that we lost. But we'll send these two back to get repaired. All things considered. Striking. Okay. Awaiting orders. Uh, I think they got interrupted by that uh, fighter coming in. Let's try this again. Hopefully they'll get to the gate before this next P gets to us, or that might interrupt them again.
It's pretty stupid. <laughs> 71 fighter after all this. Awaiting orders. They were smart. They malfunctioning circuit board. Do the same thing we're doing. You guys gonna kill him or what? Take him out. Okay. Um, all right. So now, just trying to decide what our Awaiting next orders. best move is. Split have a, a defense platform up here, which is great. So family crit has not been completely taken over. I'm sure they're probably having a hard time though. Okay. Um, let's do a save. And I guess the thing to do is to start going after the first defense platform, but we really have to keep an eye on that K um, in the, the process. The other thing we could do is, is actually go after these ships and just clean them up before we start attacking stations. Um, you know, they'll probably send more through, but at least we'll thin out the herd a bit so we can focus on the stations so why don't we actually do that I'm gonna target this guy okay and we'll kind of just move together towards him until we get within striking range anyways Oh, I was going to look at uh, our losses here. Oh, we actually lost a courier. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, okay, so we lost one Chimera. So not too bad, all things considered. Um, what we'll do is order up another one, but I'm probably going to have to bring in some whole parts. And I'm also changing the guns to, uh, or some of the guns to thermal disintegrators for surf attacking surface elements. Yeah, they're going to need all parts. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I accidentally canceled the order. Try that again. Camera. I preset up G. Change. Thermals on 1, 3, and 5. Add to shopping list. Confirm order. Grab one of our station haulers who isn't currently doing anything. Remove all current orders. Transfer wares. Reaver. Grab all parts. Let's grab a full load and bring it up here and sell. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. So yeah, we're just we're just gonna kind of cruise over there. I'm not in a super big hurry because I want. Oh, I guess we have everybody back already. 
That was fast. Okay, well, in that case, yeah, let's go ahead and move move towards this guy and deal with the K, and then we can clean up the smaller guys before we start attacking these stations. We're just stopping for a moment to take out some of these little guys that got within our intercept range. Oh good, we're, we're pulling some of these dudes here, which is fine with me, because I'd like to take care of them now if we can. Awaiting orders. Yeah, this is actually good. If we if we can pull all the little guys to us as we're traveling across the sector, we'll mop up them and then Awaiting orders. go take out the K and then we'll be in pretty good shape. Let's go into third person here. Awaiting orders. So kind of watch the show a little bit. Okay, In fact, I'm even going to stop here for a minute. I don't want to get too close and get the K's attention while we're still attacking all these other little guys. You'll have to try harder than that. Awaiting orders. Orders. Looks like the K might be starting to move this way. Alright, I'm going to pause for a second. Yeah, those guys might be on their way over here. By the time they get here, most of this little stuff should be out of the way. Um, I want to bring my um, destroyers up closer to me. Our fighters are doing work, man. If we're still engaged with this swarm, when it gets close, then I'm going to send the destroyers to blitz it. Well, and I will too on the rattlesnake. This is the, definitely the largest battle uh, we've been in so far in this series. It's kind of cool. We're going to lose this chimera, but... I mean, we can. I suppose we could try and get him out of here. The chimeras. The problem with the chimeras is they're they're glass cannons. Um, they're fast and they hit hard, but they they're not very tough. Let's see if we can get him get him out of there and get him repaired before it's too late. I'm not gonna bet money on it though. Um. This she and this she is also in pretty bad shape at the moment. Definitely want to get an auxiliary ship as soon as possible for this kind of thing. They're moving in pretty quick. Okay. You guys to remove whatever the hell you're doing now and go kill this guy as will we I'm gonna do a flyby on him Or maybe more like a bump by.
back up. We're gonna take some explosion damage here. Hopefully we won't lose our guns. No, we didn't lose them, we damaged them. Okay. That could have gone worse. Whew. Nice. Oh, it looks like we lost an engine too. Dang. Awaiting orders. <laughs> The important thing is, we're alive, and he's not. Man, it was intense. Awaiting orders. Okay, let me pause for a second and just assess. So at this point, um, let's take a look down in Tharkas. They got anything big coming our way? Doesn't look that way. Not that I can tell at the moment. Okay, and then up here. It looks like that defense platform's keeping whatever's coming from that way busy for now. And did we put a satellite up here? Oh, I need to I need to send my guy up there. In fact, let's do that right now. Uh, I just gotta remember where he's parked. Right here. Okay. So his default order is to park it. Rattlesnake 1. But what I'm going to do, hopefully he'll survive this, is send him up to here and tell him to drop an advanced satellite. So he'll run up, do that, and then come back and dock again if he survives. <laughs> okay. Um, let's pull severely damaged fighters out. You're already on your way to getting repaired. And maybe this one too. It's been handy having this wharf here. And uh, also another reason why it's worthwhile to save this sector. Okay, so they're on their way to get repaired, hopefully. And now we just kind of clean up the trash, and hopefully my repair drones can get my ship fixed back up. And yeah, let's unpause and see what happens. Two engines or just one? We lost one, but I think the other one's probably damaged. Well, let's just hope another K doesn't come around anytime soon. Probably go ahead and get started with this defense platform here as soon as things calm down a bit. Did we lose any more fighters too? Let's take a look. Yeah, we lost a sheet. Okay. Awaiting orders. Well, if you consider the ratio of my losses to theirs, it's very, very acceptable. <laughs> We probably killed a hundred of their ships and we lost what two three so yeah very acceptable oh 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 no i don't want the fighters to go over to that defense platform okay so what we're gonna do now is we're going to set all of you guys up in a protect position so remove all orders. Yeah, I know I'm going to have to resend the repair guys back after I do this, but that's fine. Okay, I want you all to remove all orders and assignments. And I want all of you to mimic commander. Okay, 
And then what we'll do is we will set Oh, that defense platform's way up in the air. Okay. All right, so we're going to set you to protect position right about here for 30 kilometers. And then let's just move it back a little ways from that station and in line with this gate for anything that comes down the pike on that gate. Okay, so now let's once again grab the damaged fighters. Looks like, oh shoot, our, our leader's damaged, but he's 90% haul. We're going to let him go. Okay, so let's grab the two chimeras first. Straighten the map out. I have to redo this, but that's okay. All right, and then we'll grab all the damaged she's. Uh, no, not that one. Okay, the rest of them are not too bad a shape. You guys go over there. Very good. Okay. Let's get started now on smashing this station. So I think what I'll do is uh, let's just send the destroyers in and see how they do and if they start clumping up on each other I'll have to I'll have to move them and hopefully <laughs> I'm in really bad shape I do have repair drones right let's see um, ship information I have two repair drones okay well I'm just going to have to do between them and my crew. Hopefully over time they'll be able to get the rattlesnake back up in decent shape. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty insane kamikaze move there that we did, but... Oh, look at that. They just busted right through the asteroid. How funny. Yeah, we have a one and a half engines here, so we're probably not going to be moving real fast anytime soon. Doesn't I don't see on here where it shows my Oh, okay, yeah, two it shows two engines, but not in the best of shape. Did I just leave my repair drones behind? No, yeah, they're still active, but I don't know. So what is this guy just sitting there doing? Not a damn thing for. He's uh, he's trying to get in position. Yeah, see they they clump up on each other. So irritating. I wish they would spread out a little more. We're gonna have to help them out a little bit. Oh, I don't even have thrust at all. set it so I can get into range a little quicker. Shoot. Okay. Um, actually, 
actually, let's see if we can take that. It's not letting me target it. Alright, let's try... a little bit closer sir all four of our main batteries there we go we're in range now okay let's start pounding at these guys my guns aren't working in tip top shape so I'm a little gimped but we gotta do what we can do we got another turret up here that's uh on us too. Okay, I'm gonna move over this way. And as soon as I kind of get the rattlesnake situated, I'm probably gonna need to uh, reposition the other ships too. Let's just let them do their thing right now. They seem to be a reason doing a reasonably good job attacking there. Can't activate Seta while we're being attacked by these little bastards. They can't. They can't really hurt us though. The the uh, defense drones. Are pretty lame. All right, we'll work on this section. do a quick check on our situational awareness here yeah those are all defense drones not worried about them and it doesn't look like they're sending anybody else through at the moment so that is good did our guy get up here yeah he did okay uh, so there is a K up here But if he is coming after us, it'll be a little while before he gets here. And it uh, doesn't look like anything too terribly threatening down here either. Okay, so I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good, all things considered. Our other guys are repaired and on their way back. Um, did we get that new Chimera made yet? No, not yet. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think uh, we're going to wrap up this episode here. You know what I got to do. <laughs> we're going to take out this def defense platform. We'll take out this defense platform. We'll take out that solar power plant. And uh, then we've pretty much accomplished um, our goal of pushing, pushing the Xenon out of Zyarth space. Now... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen over here. But before I come over to the free families and try and bail their ass out, I really, I, I'm going to try and do that. It would be good to save them because, you know, of all the trading in their tech and stuff. But before we take the whole fleet over there, um, we need to secure families in which basically means we need to put another defense platform here and depending upon how um, stuck in the xenon are up in this sector I mean we know there's two stations but I haven't been up there in a long time so there could be a lot more we could even push all the way up here and just completely wipe them out um, so that way we don't need to worry about building another defense gate there because it's very it takes a long time to do that and it's very expensive for me to do at this point in time. 
So we'll, we'll have to play that one by ear. I'll, I'll have to run a scout up there and, you know, look around and see, you know, if they've got like five stations and a shipyard and all that, nah, forget it. We'll have, we'll have to put a defense uh, platform at this gate too. But if it, if it looks like I can take them out too and just completely wipe them out from Rise Defiance, then that means we only need to put a gate here and then we're in good shape. We also need to keep an eye on, you know, this side of things too, but I don't think, I don't think we need to worry about this in, in, in the immediate future. We just have to keep an eye on it basically. And maybe if I notice that they start building a new station, I'll send the destroyers over and take it out again. Cause it does, you know, it's pretty easy to take them out when they're not fully built, of course. All right, so that kind of gives you an update. I'm not sure when I'll bring you back in the next episode, but uh, when I do, you'll know where we're at. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you can't share the video. Can I say that any faster? <laughs> we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.